guys with you Biscuitish and you know what? I have a fucking facepalm from the modern horror games. And you're probably thinking, I don't care. I want to see more Let's Plays from a Jacksepticeye on the new Five Nights at Freddy, you dumb piece of shit. And you know, I really don't care on such people and the crazy fanatics, but uh, I'll try to explain you why modern horror games are a piece of shit. So, let's start. Those games are liked by most of people. Otherwise, YouTube replenished every day with terabytes of Let's Plays on indie horrors. I think the reason is the overcompensation. Initially, the body is under stress and then trying to bring itself back to normal and trying too hard. And from what we get, euphoria. The easiest way to scare a person is by a screamer. <laughs> This is a primitive boo effect, when something suddenly appears on the screen. But let's change the polarity. Let's try to imagine that something is trying to make us laugh. Observational comedy, cringe comedy, one-liners or by clownery. My question is... There is a lot of examples like show a finger to a fool and he or she will laugh. Screamer is the same finger but appears sa the gameplay consists of pressing a couple of buttons. There is no weapons, there is no possibility to walk, there is no plot, no characters, even graphics is primitive sprites. You just sit and waiting for Screamer, which can only be prevented by closing the door. Let's players are screaming loud and funny, and millions of mentally retarded schoolboys laugh out loud from funny screams. Once I have watched such Let's Play and even smiled once, but after first Screamer, I start to get bored. It's very very monotonous, and I don't understand how much need to be as stupid to scream from the same thing hundred times in a row. For example, we understand why porn actresses are screaming, they are well paid for that, but what about Let's Players? Wow. In general, Let's Plays uploading with thousand parts and brings a lot of money from ads, plus regular sequels and people eat this with a big pleasure. But before was such smart and interesting games like Silent Hill 2, qualitative and crafted plot, where at the end you want to upload to developers, atmospheric soundtracks, an atmospheric world. All it was before was releasing indie horror after another one, removing everything except screamers in middle of nowhere. And I understand why Konami has cancelled Silent Hills. Because why they need to try to make something amazing when you can do same shit for a couple of days and upload it on Steam? Any fucking shit. Developers have a bunch of horror techniques to create a great atmosphere, quality product that can leave a storm of positive emotions. But they're not only looking for new tricks, but they don't even use the old tricks. Do you remember how could scare Hitchcock's film Psycho? Remember how Jaws scares us? Remember how the ring scares us, where wasn't sudden appears of something, but because of growing tension and irreversible outcome. The same thing in the Saw movies. I want to play a game. And then a thousand of talented directors have created primitive movies where something appears in a frame unacceptably. The same thing happening with game industry. I hope game developers going to experiment and going to find new ways to scare us.